An exclusive look now at the migrant surge at the southern border. Fox News got a first-hand look at a major crossing point on the Rio Grande River. Rich Edson is on the ground in Texas with the story. Rich. Hey, good afternoon, Jerry. And this is where much of this migrant surge is ending up, the Rio Grande Valley. That's the Rio Grande River right behind us, and then Mexico beyond that. The Texas state troopers often patrol this river. They gave us an exclusive ride along, take a look at what they're seeing throughout the day. They say their job here involves intercepting drugs, deterring migration, and a humanitarian mission. We were talking to Border Patrol last night. It was telling us that they'd never seen in this part the type of families and children that they're seeing now. Yeah, so we're seeing the same thing. And it's just the, the amount of family units. And then there's the other part of it, the ones that are getting away, the criminals that we can't catch because you're dealing with an uh, influx of so many people. And the troopers say sometimes cartels will drop off dozens of migrants at one spot on the river to distract Border Patrol and then run drugs across to another part. Customs and Border Protection is handling this surge for the federal government. And with that, President Biden has just nominated Tucson, Arizona Police Chief Chris Magnus to lead CBP. Magnus is an outspoken critic of President Trump's border approach. The White House also says that Mexico, Guatemala and Honduras have pledged to surge their forces is south of here to try to prevent migration coming up through Mexico and ending up here. Jerry? Thanks, Rich. Fascinating report. Thank you very much.